It's a momentous day for the Sheringham Shoal Wind Farm. With two installation vessels on duty, the construction of the turbines has been progressing rapidly. So much so that today, the last one is due for installation. The vessel Sea Jacks Leviathan has been on the project now for uh, four months. And during these four months, they've been uh, erecting 28 windmills. Uh, we had some wait waiting on weather, but it's been really impressive work by the Sea Jacks and Siemens uh, personnel on board. Uh, just to give you an idea what the Siemens guys are handling every day, here you see a uh, typically bolt that we use for connecting the towers together and uh, the blades and nacelle. And in each turbine there are approximately between 600 and 650 of these. And in total on the field here, it's over 50,000 of these uh, big bolts that uh, the guys have to handle every day. And we see during these four months, we've come down to a total erection of a turbine in nine hours. So that's, that's very impressive, both by the vessel, the crane and the Siemens uh, personnel. The team on board the jack-up vessel Sea Jacks Leviathan has the job of completing the final turbine. The Leviathan has worked in tandem with a second jack-up vessel, the Endeavour, for the past five months to construct all 88 structures. And they're as careful with the last as they were with the first. The uh, last site on any project um, is where everyone's sort of getting to the end, everyone's ready to go home, um, so you have to exercise particular caution, keep the safety standards as high as what we've maintained throughout the project, and ensure that we're double-double checking everything, so that come the end of this turbine, it's built to the same standards as the rest of the fields throughout. I think something that's very poignant is when the guys sit down and when they have their toolbox talked prior to the last turbine, um, the health and safety guys will sit down with them, tell them not to rush the job, tell them not to be complacent, to do things in their own time. And as always, if there is a problem and something they're not happy with, then to stop the job. The final tower is lifted onto its base and bolted into position. It's a job that requires absolute precision, and work goes on into the night to complete the task. Then the 200-ton nacelle is carefully positioned on top. Daybreak marks a landmark moment as the last set of blades is carefully moved into place. Today we have had a big day for the project. Uh, we managed this morning to finish off the installation of the 88 turbines on the Sheringham Shoal offshore wind farm. The project has gone very well so far. There is a big uh, milestone being reached today because the project can focus on finalizing of uh, each turbine and all of them to work. 
It's a proud moment for all who've helped the project reach this point. Once all the turbines are installed, there's still mechanical and electrical completion work to be done, along with commissioning, to get them ready to start power generation. Teams are busy inside them, connecting cables ready to transmit electricity to the substations. With the turbines in place and around 50 now connected to the national grid, the wind farm is on track to be fully operational by autumn 2012.